wrinkle free at 70 years old. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brienne. So I'm gonna share with you two of the things I do before I go to bed at night, okay? I talk a lot about pushing 70. I'm almost 70 years old. And I talk a lot about fitness, how to stay healthy, what I do um, to stay fit and stay healthy. And, you know, what works for one person may or may not work for another. So I never suggest someone to do what I do unless it's right for them. And, you know, what's right for someone else may or may not work for me and vice versa. So you always have to keep that in mind. And everyone's situation is different. Everyone's different. And even our skin texture can be different. So we have to remember that everyone's skin is different and everyone's look is different and what works well for one person may not work well for another but sometimes it does so i'm going to share with you um a couple things that i do well first of all you know i eat healthy i work out seven days a week five days a week at the gym and then on saturday and sunday i don't go to the gym but i also seven days a week i run or walk five miles every day seven days a week and i dance about an hour in the evening so during the week i get about four hours worth of exercise daily and two hours on the weekend and so for me i am focused on what i eat and what i don't eat there are certain foods that I stay away from, or at least I try to stay away from them. If we're going out to dinner, then, you know, it's whatever I want to eat. But if I'm home, um, I'm either fasting um, or intermittent fasting, or um, I'm eating very, very selective. Now, in my microwave right now, I just made some what I call salad soup. And it's a combination of green vegetables. And sometimes I'll snack on that. If I get really hungry and I haven't eaten for a few hours and I don't want to have my main meal yet, I'll snack on some salad soup. It's, you know, almost calorie free and there's no sugar and there's none of the toxins or anything like that in there. So what do I do to stay wrinkle free? As you can tell, I don't have any wrinkles. I don't use any particular kind of medicated um, stuff on my face that would, you know, anti-age it. I'm really about staying young the natural way as possible, meaning, you know, no facelifts, no fillers. And I've talked about that before. And I'm not against those. I think those are great if that's the way you want to go. It's just that that's not the way I want to go. Because, well, I don't like going to the doctors. And so I don't want to be, have all these things done to me. So mine is through more natural things like taking care of my body, the fitness, what I eat, what I don't eat, getting plenty of sleep. But before I go to bed at night, I take off all of my makeup, any makeup that I've had or residual from the makeup, I make sure all makeup is cleaned off of my face. I usually use baby wipes to do it. And then what I do is I wash it, my face again, you know, really good with water. And after that, you know, after my face is really cleaned, I put on a combination of coconut oil. And yes, I use diaper cream. <laughs> I'm not recommending it to anybody, okay? But I use a diaper cream that doesn't have any baby powder stuff in it. And um, it's a more natural, uh, more natural over-the-counter, buy it in any supermarket, very inexpensive diaper cream. And I refrigerate my diaper cream before I use it. So it's really, really thick. So I put it on and I rub it in real good at night along with the coconut oil. And so my face has been hydrated with the water, you know, cleaning it real good and then splashing cold water on my face. And then I use the um, coconut oil and the diaper cream. And I don't really use a lot of diaper cream. I just use it, a, you know, a small amount of it. But for some reason, it really seems to work for me. And I have been using it since my kids were babies. And how I discovered it was, I was, uh, um, we were living where it snowed a lot. And I couldn't get out of the house. And my kids were really, they were all babies. They were in diapers. 
And so I had diaper cream and I didn't have anything um, to put on my face. So I had run out of face cream. And so I went to the kitchen and I got some, I think it was Crisco and I put some Crisco on my face. And then I thought, you know what? I've got diaper cream. So I'm going to use the, you know, the, the diaper cream. And so I put that on my face and the next morning I woke up and my skin looked really, really extra good. And I thought, wow, you know, I'm going to keep using this combination. So it went from Crisco over to coconut oil. And then I, um, then I went to, you know, I would buy my diaper cream at any supermarket. And usually I got the generic one. It just, I made sure I didn't have any baby powder in it or anything like that. And that's what I've been using all these years. I have no wrinkles and I've had no chemical peels and no, um, no fillers. I've talked about when I had a, the fillers when I was like 45 years old. And that was like, you know, years ago, 25 years ago. And they only lasted like two weeks. So I didn't want to go back and get them and just, you know, they didn't last with me. And then I had a mini facelift in my late thirties and I didn't need it. And no one could tell I had anything done because I didn't need it done. And that was it. So what you see is what you get. You know, I'm taking care of myself holistically through, you know, taking care of my health. Not much looks better than great health. If you take care of your health, I mean, that will keep you young looking forever. You know, there's nothing that makes you look better than great health. And so I take care of my health. I drink plenty of uh, spring water and I um, eat healthy and I make sure to get plenty of rest. So, you know, it's a combination of all of it and keeping a great attitude. And someone asked me one day, you know, about makeup. I think the less makeup we use as we get older, the better. But I do think makeup uh, can cover up, you know, dark circles or, you know, if you have any flaws. Um, so I like makeup, but I'm also comfortable without makeup. And often when I don't wear makeup, people think I'm even younger than what I am. So, you know, makeup done right can compliment you, done wrong can make you look older. So you want to really be careful with makeup, okay? Well, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.